What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Troy. I'm back with another video. It is, it is, what is it? August, right? <laughs> it is August the 31st. Uh, it's about <laughs> 7 p.m. And I am currently in Jonesboro, uh, Arkansas. I was about to say South Carolina, but I'm in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Um... I just want to come on and give you guys a video, just update you and say hello to you guys. Um, I have, I'm at a, I'm at the uh, receiver right now, getting unloaded. Then I'm probably gonna head about four minutes to Averett, stop there for the night, get up in the morning, pick up a load about an hour and thirty-five minutes away from where I am now in Mississippi, and that load is going to South Carolina. But while I go, while I'm going through Birmingham, I have to stop because my stupid, and yes, I said stupid, Quadcom system decided to fail on me this morning. I woke up, I seen on my phone, on the um, app, Averett app, that I had a um, pre-plan. And, um, I mean, a trip plan. Whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, I looked and I'm like, I need to get the numbers and stuff out of this. Because, you know, the app doesn't show you all the, the, the pickup number and all the stuff that you need. And I like to write my stuff down. So I was like, okay, let me go, now I got to turn my turn the truck on so I can turn the car because it's on. Because usually at night, you know, if you offer a certain amount of, you know, if you're not messing with it or what now, whatever happens, I guess it cuts itself off. So it cut itself off. And usually when I cut it, truck back on it, it has me logged back in and everything. But I see right here, it said uh, that it wanted me to log back in. So I go to try to log in and it shut off. And it's been doing that since eight o'clock this morning. And it's, it's now eight, eight forty. It's been doing that since eight o'clock this morning. It'll come on like you want me to log in, then it'll, it'll shut off. And it just, it's just been doing that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So they said, uh, stop in Birmingham. They should have one for me. Um, it is funny that I came this way, you know, considering that storm was re really close. Uh, I hit just a, a bunch of rain. Uh, I stopped in Nashville last night. So it was about four. I was getting down here. And when I drove down here today, it was a bunch. It was a lot of rain and a bunch of uh, a bunch of wind. And I tried to leave a little early. I tried. To, I left an hour early. I did leave an hour early because I didn't know what to expect on these roads and you know, you just, you just, you just got to prepare for the worst. You just never know what could happen. And I don't know if I, maybe I wanted to stop somewhere, you know, get a bite to eat. So I left an hour early to give myself an hour cushion. Um, got here right at eight o'clock. That was my goal was to get here at eight o'clock. And luckily they took me in because I didn't have to be here till nine, but they took me in at eight o'clock and I'm here now. Um, but there were like four, four or five accidents and half of those accidents were, did, did involve tractor trailers. And two of them look really bad. So, but we got moving through them quick. One was on the other side, and then one was on my side. We 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 moved through it pretty quick. One was I like think like Stephen Transport uh, had flipped upside down or something like that. But it was pretty bad out there. But I, anyways, I hope everybody is staying safe out there. That storm really hit Louisiana bad. I know we had a couple drivers, I think, from that way. So you guys are definitely in my prayers, and know that we are out there praying for you guys. But I hope everybody is safe. But yeah. Um seven months. Seven months with Averett Express. And I still have no complaints at all. That should tell you something right there. That should tell you something right there. Um, but I don't want to speak too fast. <laughs> I don't want to speak too fast. You know, but I can honestly say Averett has done me very well. They do not treat you like a number here. They treat you like family, and I feel like it's just a big family. That's why I just feel like I'm I'm, I'm in a big family with Ed Avery. You know, I, and I'm not sugarcoating anything for you guys to come over here. I'm not trying to make you guys come over here. I'm not recruiting nobody. I'm not trying to make no money off this. But I'm telling you right now, from my experience and what and, and me being here, I love it here. And if you feel like it's something that you want to do when you want to come over here, I think you should go for it. You know, I, I no matter, I love it. You know, I, I love it. I love it. You know, if I'm if I if I ever need anything, and I can't speak for everybody and their experience because everybody everybody's experience is different. Some people come over here and they they probably hate Avery. You know, I ain't gonna do with that. You know, this is my experience. Some people come over here and one little thing's off and they hate the company. You know, that's on you and what you got going on. But for me, yeah, I, I've, I've been loving it. I've been loving it so far, so good. I've been loving Avery so far, so good. You know. You can't beat it. You, you can't beat it. You know, I ain't got to fight for parking. That's a bonus. 
I could park at Avery, get fuel, take a shower, do my laundry if I got to do my laundry, you know, chill out in the drive in a, in a driver's lounge if I need to. If I'm tired of being in the truck, I chill in the driver's lounge if I need to. You know, it's just, it's just a lot of things that Avery has to offer that some of these companies don't have to offer, you know, and that's fine. You know, that's that I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit, you know, and it is what it is. You know, some people out there are like, oh, y'all ain't making enough money. Y'all trucks go too slow. I don't care. 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 I make a great. I make I I, I make good money, you know, and that's enough for me in my situation and what I got going on. It's a, it's, it's 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 enough for me. You know, your situation, your situation might be different. So you might be, you might need me need to make a little bit, little bit more money, but me, I'm good. You know, with the money I make, I'm fine. You know, I'm able to pay my car note, pay my insurance, pay my darn rent, phone bill, all that stuff, and I still have money left over. I'm good, and still, be, still able to um pay for my uh, pay my credit cards off, even though I don't have a lot of um I don't have a lot of uh, I don't owe a lot of my credit card. I don't really owe nothing on my credit cards, but I'm able to pay my credit cards off. I'm able to pay go out and enjoy myself every weekend. I'm out eating out. I mean, I'm, I'm good. I'm living good. You know, and I thank God for that. You know, I thank God. It's not just here. I thank God for that, you know, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be where I am today. So I thank God for that. Um, I'm talking too fast. Just let me slow it down. Let me slow it down a little bit. But yeah, I don't have any complaints with Avery. I'm telling you, I just wish it was more drop and hook, but it is what it is. Because some of these places you wait, you just got to wait, 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 wait. But you know, that's trucking. You know, that's trucking. So it is what it is with that part. It is trucking. And, you know, you just got to have patience. Patience is key out here. I'm telling you. Um, but I can't I can't think of anything. And I don't really need to complain about anything. I mean, I don't. You know, they, they treat me well over here. But anyways, that's all I had to talk to you guys about. I'm, I just drive down the road and I just be like, man, I got to make a video. I got to make a video. I got so much to talk about. Then I get on here and I don't know what the world I got to talk about. I don't know what the world I be thinking. But, you know, I just, I just got to keep you guys updated. I got to keep you guys updated. I got to keep you guys updated. Yes, I do. But uh, that's all I got to say for you guys. If I have anything else to say, I'm going to get back on here and I'm going to let you guys know some more stuff. But anyways, if you need me, if you need me, don't hesitate to ring my line. If you got my number, don't hesitate to text me. Don't hesitate to do any of that. If you need me, y'all better let me know. You better let me know. You got any questions, better let me know. Um, But if I help you make your decision on coming to Avery, please pay me down as a referral. I greatly appreciate that. Um, Continue to like, subscribe. If you want to share, whatever you want to do to it. Whatever you want to do. Continue to do that. Um, But on a, on a serious note, you guys, please stay safe out there. Of course, wash your hands. Wear your mask. <laughs> um. And just be good. But I'm about to get out here because he's probably going to come out and do my paperwork. But anyways, peace. What's up, guys? So, um, just got here to the shipper in Mississippi. Um, going to pick up here. Then I'm going to head to Birmingham to pick up my uh my new Qualcomm system because this one is down like I was telling you guys yesterday um so yeah they told me to back me to door 17 so I'm gonna back into 17 and we're gonna see what it's gonna be but until then so, hey, here right now still waiting been here since 9 it's about 12 10 right now uh they still get me loaded I went there to check I'm like what's going on how long is it gonna take he already knew what I came in there for he was like um he looked at the time. He said, "Shouldn't be much longer," but he said, "Yeah, I should have been had you out of here." I know you should have been having me out of here, but we um, we gonna we gonna wait on, we gonna wait on, we gonna wait on, we gonna wait on. Uh, but anyways, still here in Mississippi. Still got to go to Arkan. I'm um, still got to go to Alabama to get this quad come switched out. So, you know, we I gotta see how many hours I'm gonna have left. See how long I want to drive and whatnot. But I'm um, anyways. I'll see you guys either when I get to either when I stop tonight or when I get to Alabama. We'll see. I just want to update you guys. Peace. What's up, guys? So, I'm here now in um, Rock Hill, South Carolina. My voice is going away a little bit. <clears throat> uh, last time I talked to you guys, I think I was in Birmingham. I got my Qualcomm fixed.
thank God. I'm so tired of this paper logs. But uh, I got my Qualcomm fixed. Um, yesterday, after I left there, I made it to... I was going to try to make it to South Carolina. To um, Duncan, South Carolina. But I had so much. I had to do so much stopping yesterday. So I couldn't make it. Um, so when I stopped there, I went to Lawrenceville. Stopped in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Um, got up about 7 o'clock this morning. Headed here. And it's, it's now about... About 1244. It's about a four hour drive. Um, after this, I'm going to head somewhere else in North Carolina. Then I got to drop that off in Asheville. So I'm going to head to Asheville tonight, stop at our service center in Asheville, then get up in the morning, um, have that load there by 10 in the morning. So then we'll see what they have for us next. Um, but yes, tomorrow's Friday. It's the big day. Time to go home. Um, Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are being safe out there, making this money, keeping this big joke in y'all lane. Um, but I'm about to um, drop this trailer, and I'm going to try to find... There's so many trailers out here. I'm going to try to find a uh, empty somewhere. i seen a 17 loader. I don't know how lucky I'll be able to get that. It might be it might be full, uh, loaded, but we will see. But uh, once I get to this shipper, I mean this receiver... Well, the shipper, I'm sorry. Once I get to the shipper... It's about two hours and six minutes. Once I get there, I'll check in with you guys. If not, I'll check in with you guys in Nashville. Peace out. Okay, guys, so I just made it to the receiver. Um, about to pick up this load. And um, well, the shipper just pick up this. I'm about to pick up this load. Well, I'm pretty sure I got to get loaded up. They have an air trailer down there, but I think that's just for the local guys. So I'm about to pick up this load and head to Asheville about three hours away. Then I'll see you guys. So peace out. up guys so i'm currently here in asheville north carolina uh i just came from some other place weird place in north carolina i don't know the name of it near monroe north carolina wherever, wherever i was um picked up some stuff um i have to deliver 12 minutes down the road at 10 o'clock in the morning it's of course thursday the second at 7 10 so that's a good time to stop in um I bought me an iPad now, and uh, we're gonna see how it works. I may show you guys when I hook it up, and um, well, when I mount it, mount it up, and I'll show you guys how it looked. But I just bought it because I, I like using my phone for backup GPS. I use Trucker Path on my phone, but I also like to. Uh, my voice is gone. <laughs> I sound weird, but I also like um, I like the bigger screen. So I love my Garmin. I got my Garmin, but I'm a, I like to bag it up with my Trucker Path because I've been using Trucker Path since I've been out here. Well, since I've been trucking, that's been about uh, 11 months. And Trucker Path hasn't let me down. Of course, you need to look, always look at your route before you head out. Um, so I've, I've, Trucker Path has, wanting, has been wanting to send me down some roads that I wasn't supposed to take. But when you trip plan right and you look at the roads, and of course, if you got an atlas, check your atlas and whatnot, then you know you, you know that's that road you shouldn't take. So, um, but I like to use Trucker Path. And also like to have a bigger screen. So I might have to use that on my iPad. I got an iPad and I got data on that. So, you know, I can use that. Um, so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to clip this down. I don't, I might just stick it on my uh, dashboard. I don't want to, I don't want to put anything else up there to um, obstruct my view of my mirrors and other things um, from the windshield. So I don't want to put it in my windshield. Um, I got a lot of stuff up there so far. Well, I just got two things up there, but I don't want to put anything else up there, especially no big iPad. Um, this is only like $39 at, at uh, $39 at, um, at the Love's Truck Stop. I seen another guy had one up there, but he had his, he had his on his, uh, his windshield. And, um, I asked him where he got it from, because that's what I was going in there to get, um, if I had fueled up. So, um, I went in there, looked around. I couldn't find anything. It just had 10 inches and in between, it had seven, between seven and 10 inches. Um, but luckily I, I kept looking and I seen this one. Um, I have 11 inch and this holds up fits up to um, 13 inches so we're gonna see what it what what it, what it's working with and if it decides it don't want to do right then we're gonna take it back and I'm gonna get my $39 back or my $40 back but um the good one was like $60 and that's the one I wanted to get but my iPad too big with that it's too big so 
anyways, um, we're gonna we we gonna chill out for the rest of the night. Um, eat some Subway like I always get. Um, watch some movies. Get up around about nine nine o'clock. Um, I'm gonna go in and take a shower tonight. Um, hopefully I have a shower in here. I think they they should have a shower. I haven't been in that facility, but uh, take a shower and whatnot. Um, come back eat like I said and watch some movies. Get up at nine. Uh, deliver that load. I got a load. Uh, that picks up in Greenville, Tennessee tomorrow, the third. Uh, that picks up between eight and fourteen hundred. So I'm gonna pick that up, and that's about four. That's about an hour away where I have to drop off at. No, two hours away. Then I have to from Greenville to uh, North Carolina to where I'm um, to home. That's about four hours and twelve minutes. So we're gonna see what we can. We're gonna see what we can work with today. Um, my fleet manager. I'm off Monday. He was like, "Do you want to work Monday?" I'm like, "Do I have to?" He was like, "Nope." But you know, um, he said I didn't have to work, so of course it's a holiday, so you, you know. But um, so I'm off Monday. Thank God. I have a great flu manager. That guy, he goes the extra mile. If you see this, I really appreciate you. I'm not gonna put his name out there, but he goes the extra mile, y'all. I mean, from from if I need time off, from from when I need time off, I mean, if I if I want to deliver a load early, I mean, if I'm having problems with my Qualcomm system, any, any, anything, anything, the guy is always there. You know, he's always there. You know, at the beginning, when I first started, I have, I ain't talked to him that whole week. I'm like, what's going on now, Avery? Come on now, what's going on? Um, but after that, after I had a little talk with him, we had a little talk and whatnot, he's been on it. He's been on it. And I promise you, he's the best manager I ever had. That guy, I mean, that guy, thats he's a good guy. And I, I, I haven't seen that man from Adam and the, I haven't seen that man. I don't know how he look. I mean, I I, 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 I kind of I looked him up. But um, I haven't met him in person, and I want to do that one day. But um, he's just a good guy. You know, he's a good guy. I know some fleet managers out here. I hear people complain about their fleet managers, and they're just not no good. Or it's just the communications off. They don't, they don't have patience. But that guy has patience. I mean, he has patience. Anything you need, I don't care if it's the craziest question, he will help you out. He is a that is a great man. That man is he he's great for manager. He's great for manager. You know. But um, like I said, only time I talk to him is when I really need something, you know, if I need some help with anything or anything like that. But you know, we keep our distance because I don't wanna you know I don't want to get on my nerves and I wanna get on his nerves. So you know we keep our distance and that's how you you know, that's how you work things out. You just stay in your lane and he's gonna stay in his lane. But um anyways. Uh, we about to go ahead and chill out, and uh, I'll talk with you guys a little later. So, attention, a new important message has arrived. Guys, so it's Tuesday, uh, September the seventh. Uh, I hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend and whatnot. Enjoyed that Labor Day. Um, I didn't get back at you guys last week when I was making this video, so. Sorry, my hands a little dirty. Now they're working. <laughs> I didn't get back at you guys last week. Um, once I got back in and whatnot, because I was ready to get home and whatnot. So I want to get back at you guys. Um, I end up changing my mount uh, from off the dash and on the side a little bit because it's, it's kind of better right there. Um, for me, anyway. So I kept it on the side right there. I know some people put it on the dashboard or they put it on the windshield, but I keep, I, keep, I put mine on the side. So, uh, but yeah, anyways. Um, I hope y'all are staying safe out there. Wash your hands. You got any questions? You hit me up. Um, I got some more videos coming at you guys. If you want to see anything, you let me know. I know y'all want me to do a truck tour. I'm gonna to get to that sooner or later. I just get out here and I get a little lazy. Once I, you've been driving all day, you just want to chill out, relax. But I'm gonna definitely give you guys that video. So um, just stay tuned to that. But um, anyways, peace out. <laughs>